good morning and sliding in the afternoon. Judy Allen here San, in San Antonio, Texas with Keep It Simple or Step It Up. Today it's all about color and paper, all right? And we're going to be using some ribbon too. Ribbon's important today too. So look out. We're going to show you some tricks and tips to make it easier. Let's go down the hands and let's get started. Yes, it's hump day, Wednesday. Half the week's over and have to go. So we're going to be using some beautiful balloons and we're going to be using these two inks. So the first thing I want to show you is we're going to be using colored ribbon. And the reason I want to show you the ribbon is this is white ribbon. It's glittery. And we can color it any color that we want. So I'm going to go ahead and show you some of the stuff that I've done to color for today. I did originally use this. And as a result, I got ink all over my fingers because it doesn't dry real quick when you use this. Now, if you use the bigger blender pen, this is actually the Stampin' Right. You can use it, but you're going to have to let it dry. Okay, and I'll show you. Whereas when I go to do the ink here in a minute, I'll show you the difference. So if I go and put this on the ribbon right now, what's nice about this ribbon is, is you can color any color you want. Now, see how it comes off? It doesn't dry real quick with the Stampin' Right. If you use the blender pens, I don't have this color, but if you use the blender pen, it dries right away because it's water-based. So that one's just a little bit different. I want to show you that. The other way that I did it was, as you can sit here and just take it right across your ink. Now, the first time I did it, I actually just moved it along with my finger. And as you can see, I've got ink all over my fingers. But then a neater way to do it would be to take a dauber or something else that you can just literally just push it down as it comes through. And I'm not really inking it or anything. I'm just making sure it gets down into the ink, right? Now let me show you the difference. So if I come through now, well, that one did. When I did it earlier, it didn't. All right, so much for being live, right? All right, we'll just give it a moment then because earlier when I did it, I didn't get ink all over me. It dried right away. Hmm. All right, let's do this again. Let me do it in the pink one. Let me see. I have a class this afternoon, so they're going to love it that I have purple fingers. All right, let's do this one here. Because I sat there and did this earlier, and it was dry. It was no pictures, no issues. In fact, you can see where I left the glitter in there, and it dried right away. I have to do that because I didn't bring another dauber. Ah, trying to get all the color off because I don't really want this color in my pink. But I want to use it because I don't have another one with me right now. Because I wasn't expecting to do that. I did do it early like this. And I'm just going to put it on the ribbon. Well, let's see what it does now. Because I did this earlier and I didn't get any ink on me. Man, I was going to show you bragging rights there. Let's see there. Yeah, so nothing's coming off on that one. So I don't know why that other one did that. Let's see here. Let's try that again. Yeah, so if you don't want the glitter in there, I'd be sure to sit up there and do this hand. Let's see if I can find a finger that's clean. Yeah, that one didn't. So maybe I just got a lot of ink on it, the other one. But anyway, so you should be able to do that running through. And it dries usually very just right away. So. I don't know what I did on the first one, but that's okay. But the nice thing is I wanted to show you is, is you can have whatever color ribbon you want just by coloring it and we can use it. Okay? So that's the main thing we want to do. And yes, I can wash dishes and all that will come off. Old school, right? Hello, Jennifer. So good to see you. So the first card we're going to make is this one right here. And we're going to make our three by three. And so I actually did do some ribbon earlier just to show you. And I actually cut it in half to make it a little bit thinner. That's how I made the bow there. So that's what we're going to do. Let's see if I can make a neat mess there. Okay. Yeah, so see here? So whichever hand I just did that with had some on there. We'll just put that on the back side. So we're going to sit down and use a dark color first. And we're going to put Let's Get Our Celebration going. Because this is just a fun stamp set. And there's a lot of things you can do with it. 
This is what I'm doing with it today, but next week I'm going to show you some other things that you can do on it. It'll be on video. Yep, and so we're just going to clean that off. Because this one thing about this color, so the darker so that's got the reds in it, it doesn't always come off just clean, right? It's going to leave like a reddish stain. So just FYI, it stains your stamps too. So if you're wondering, it does stain your stamps. Just a little bit anyway. It gives it like a little reddish tint. Let's make sure I get all that off for you. Uh, so just let you know that. So sometimes, I know when I first do this, I thought, okay, my stamp didn't come clean. I kept on trying to clean it. Well, it doesn't come clean, right? It's just one of those colors. That, I think Night and Navy. There's a couple of other colors. But what we're using today are both brand new colors. That was the berry burst I just used. And now I'm fixing to use Bubble Bath. I want to call it Bubble Gum, but it's Bubble Bath. I'm just going to put one balloon here in the center. And then I'm going to get some smaller balloons here. Uh, let's see here. And we're just going to put them on the side here. Just as if you were getting a, a bouquet of balloons, right, to give somebody for their birthday. I'm just giving it different heights. And as you can see, those are the cut weight stamps. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit here, and this also has some little sparkle looking stuff that comes with it. And let's see, let me get that out of here. Just gives a little sparkle, like a little extra something, right? I was thinking there's another one. I might have left it in my other area there when I was doing something else. All right, we'll use this one though, because it doesn't matter, right? It's just giving the given. It just gives a little confetti, just like we go and get balloons at the store if we're gifting somebody with some balloons for their birthday. Just gives it a little bit of confetti, right? So I'm just stamping it on the smaller balloons like that all right and then I'm thinking about we're just gonna go ahead and finish up some of these other balloons while we're at it okay I'm gonna show you another tip I'm gonna just sit there and first stamp this one and then I'm gonna show you a tip that you can do okay because we're gonna do in the round one as well too so if you're wondering how I did this right here this was actually punched so I actually why well, should I get the red on there I actually used this trio punch here to punch the corners. So that's how I got the look I got right now. Get all that red off the bottom. So I have a circle here. I'm going to step this aside and we'll put some balloons on it in just a minute. So what we're going to do with this stamp, I have got this. I handle with red all over my hands. Okay, it's a pretty color. All right, so all I'm going to do is, you see when I go to stamp this here, it's not going to quite make it in that circle. So all I have to do is just come and just move this over a little. And see, it'll bend for you. And when you get through, it'll go back into the shape it was. But it just gives you a little bit more flexibility. And when you go to stamp this, you can do what you want to do. So I'm just going to take this here. And I just got ink all over that too. It's just one of those kind of inky days. All right. So looky there. So see, it looks nice and round and just goes with the shape of it. So all I had to do was just move it just a little. Just get some of the ink off of it. So as you can see, I just moved it just a little. So it is gonna, it should change back into shape, it will. I didn't do it that far off, but if, you know what? If I really had wanted to make that into a straight line, I could have. I must have a lot of red ink on my... You can tell I've been working with this ink here. So, that yeah, this will go back into shape, and you can put it right back where you got it from. And I like it because these have where you... It tells you right where to put it, right? You see the red there, right? The tint. So, that's just what it does. Okay, so we got all that one stamped. So, now we're just going to stamp some additional balloons. And I'm actually going to put this red away because it seems like I'm getting into a lot of ink mischief for that. I'm doing a fine job of it, too. So we're going to just do the same thing we did here, right? Because we're keeping it simple and we're going to step it up. So I'm just going to keep stamp some more balloons. I'm going to do the big one first because I like to work around the big one. There we go. 
And then we're gonna put a little dangling string. Huh. Believe it or not, I'm gonna end up having to use that again. All right, cool beans. I'll try not to be as messy with it. All right, and we're just gonna go ahead and do this one too. And so we're so we're using the same design, right? So we're just gonna be stepping it up. That's all we're gonna do. So I'm just getting all the stamping out of the way for us. There's those three little dots I was looking for. And what is nice about this color, if you wanted to, you could actually, this is the, you can actually just sort of stamp over and it's gonna be okay like that, right? Just nice. This is that, like I said, it's bubble bath. Reminds me of bubble gum too. And then we're just gonna go back to that red that I thought I was done with. And we're gonna go ahead and use it. OMG. Okay, but it's okay. Hey, the class I'm going to this afternoon, they love me. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sweat the small stuff. This one, I set up there and just did it to a little bit to the side so I could just get it for the small balloon. See how it just does like that? And you can just come over to the side here too if you want to add a little bit more. And I just did the tip of it, right? So I want to get it all in here. That's what I did. I just did the tip of it. And I'm going to use the other one on this one here just to make them a little bit different, right? Somebody has birthdays coming up. At least I know a couple of people. Well, actually, I know three people right around the corner, really. Literally. Somebody's birthday is on Sunday. Now, another person's birthday. I'm not even sure when their birthday is. But I know we're going to celebrate it on Saturday. So, but I'm not sure officially when their birthday is. It's a friend. So. It's a friend's mother who is very, very special. Yep. It's going to be her 90th birthday. And then we have a family member that's going to have a 90th birthday. So opportunity to create a lot of birthday balloons. Okay, I'm not going to clean all that right now because I've been making a big red mess. But I'm going to go ahead and get my Wink Costello on here. And I did. I put Wink Costello on all my balloons. Just to give it a little sparkle and shine. You know, right, right? It's all about that sparkle and shine you can do on somebody's birthday to make their birthday for them. Little, little pixie dust, little fairy dust, you know, get all that little sparkle. Yes, I am going to put some streamers on here, but I'm not going to do it in the red like I did originally. I'm going to go with a black, hopefully. Or a chocolate brown. Early espresso could work. Do early espresso. Early espresso always goes good with pink. All right, we're going to make some streamers here. Now, see, the, just the same thing with this ink here. I could just as easily take in ribbon like here, and I could have come across this brown. But you want it smoother, right? But I can change this ribbon to early espresso. So that's what I was telling. Hey, hello, Nancy. That's what I was trying to say is you can make this white ribbon any color you want. Just take the, either the blending pen or I would do the dauber like I did a while ago and come and put a little pressure in it. It's, in it. it's just going to absorb the color. Right, let me cut that off so I don't end up giving it to somebody else to, thinking it didn't have a color. And you'll just get beautiful ribbon because here's the ribbon we did a while ago. Naturally, the red's not all over it now. And then you'll see in a minute when we use ribbon, I'd already done it previously and it just looks real pretty. Okay, so we've got all that. So the only thing we're going to stamp now is just the streamer. And the streamer comes like this. And so I'm going to use it like this on the big balloon. And we'll just go ahead and do all three of them because I'm not going to stamp it all over just because we're making three cards, right? So all you got to do is I just line it up and stamp, okay? Just have you some paper underneath. So catching, catching the under. It's okay to go over, right? It's okay to go under on your paper and everything else. That's what the purpose of it is. So it just looks like you've got a streamer. It's just easy to line it up. And you know, with the clear stamps like this, it's just easy to see and line it up, right? Okay, so now I'm just gonna take it and turn it around. And do the same thing. And I just, you know, I just do it so that the lines come up together, right? 
So I just did it halfway. That's all you have to do. And I'm going to cover this as a long one also. And I'm not too worried anyway because we're going to put ribbon here. I know if you've ever gone recently, right? If you've recently gone and bought flower uh, balloons or flowers or anything for any kind of event, you know, you got the streamers everywhere. And you got to watch out for the wind, right? Because they'll blow the balloons and get the string all tangled up. So for me, it's just getting the strings all together, right? It just makes it nice and fun because it is nice and fun. So we're just going to keep on doing this here. And then we'll do it one more time and we'll be done with the balloons here. And then we're ready for some paper and cardstock. And we're not going to sweat the small stuff, right? Because the bottom line is we're going to be putting ribbon on here. So here's the first one here. They're three by three. And let's see, did I get my wee pastilla on there? I can see it there. This is there too. All right, so all we're doing here is we're going to put a bow, put a glue dot on here, and we're done. Now originally I was going to take this and use this each time and just adhere it to larger cardstock, but I decided no, we'll just make a little bit different twist on it, right? That was the easy way out. I figured it'd go a little bit deeper than that. So let's get a glue dot. We'll get this one on and we can trim it later, okay? All right, keep us on task. So yeah, just put a glue dot and we're going to put it right down here where everything comes together. So we got one there, and I think I might need to put a little bit more Wink of Stella. I did, looky there, see? It's all over my hands. I'll have to go clean this up later. I do have red ink all over my hands. So one thing you want to make sure is to wash your hands, because you know what, if I go touch anything wet right now, since I haven't washed my hands yet, even though it's dyed my skin, uh, it's most probably come off, right? So I would just watch out for that. So that's number one. Let me put this over the side. Now let's go with card number two. Card number two, as you can see, I've already got my ribbon. We're gonna use some bling and we are going to use some one by fours. Whoop, whoop. So the one by fours, we're just gonna put up on dimensionals. See, you can see earlier, I even had it still in my hand there. Ooh, and really there too. Okay, it doesn't matter, we're gonna cover it up. I'm not going to sweat the small stuff because I have been like creating, been a creating woman this morning. I have a class with seniors this afternoon. And then I wanted to show you this because this is pretty, actually, must probably look really pretty just with fingerprints on there because it's just a nice color to go with it, right? I'm not going to put that one on yet because I really wanted to put mine on. I want to get them centered and positioned first, right? So this is all new colors. So we got the bubble bath here. This is, I wanna say it's a luster paper. I don't remember offhand, but it's new. But you can see the color, it's a fresh freesia. It's just a little bit darker. So see, that's why I'm not gonna sweat the small stuff because it'd be easy to put one right there. And nobody's gonna know except for you watching the video, right? So there you go. Yes. Be sure to put your comments and all because next week we're going to do some door prize drawings. Let's see here. This one's a little sticky because I already did that one. So I'm just looking to see how things are shaping up. And then from here, we'll decide because our next one, that one came off too. Our next one is going to be similar, but it's going to be stepped up, right? So we're stepping this one up just by putting these on here. And we're going to space these out. We're going to get some ribbon across here too. And it must try to go right across wherever I put that. So we're just going to put this in the middle, right? So I'm just going to space these guys out. That's already done. We're just going to space these guys out. So you know what I do is I just sort of start where I think I normally put my paper. I just eyeball it. And then we're going to rotate, okay? I'm going to rotate here, and then I'm going to come here to this in the middle, and this here. So I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to go ahead and line this one up, and then the other two I'm going to put in the middle. So just aesthetically looking, right? I'm just sort of getting the two ends. So they look about the same, and I'm rotating the colors. So I don't know about you, but I have a quite a, more than I knew 
friends and peeps that like pink and purple. Pink and purple. So there you go. All right, so these two, we're just gonna center them up, right? So I used four, I could have done five and, and made it a little bit tighter, but I didn't want to. I wanted to have it a little bit more open. So I'm looking at that right there and yeah, this right here. And this is a great way to use scrap paper, right? Any leftover one inch papers that you have. That was just a, so this is just a great way to do that. Could squeeze a fifth one in here, but I didn't want to, right? I just, I'm just like I said, I'm just trying to get them evened out here, an even space. And then I'm gonna run some ribbon across it that we colored, right? So that's the purpose of showing the color, because it's gonna all coordinate. So that is one thing about using the inks, especially if they don't have the ribbon you want or whatever, or you want sparkle, because this ribbon's got sparkle. So now, because I did this, I have two choices. I can either put this ribbon here or I can put the darker ribbon that I did here. I think I'm gonna go darker, okay? So I'm just gonna tuck this behind with a glue dot. Let's see if I still got ink on it. Make sure I don't have any on my hands. See, I still have a little bit. It's like, oh my gosh. All right, so we're just gonna put a glue dot on back of here. Now this color is actually what I stamped with, okay? So this is that berry burst. But it goes really nice because it's got some of that color right in here, like a stamp off color right here. So I'm just gonna take it in here, I'm gonna tuck it. Like right there. And that'll hold it for me. And then I'm just gonna come across here. And trim it off. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna put a glue dot on it. And then I'll tuck it. So it's just pretty color. I like that. I mean, I like using the white where you can do that because, right, if uh, not all ribbons. Oh, that one came off. So what you get into is, right, you want what you want. So if they don't have the color you want in the ribbon, just create your own. And that's what I like about this. You can create it. So, gosh, I, mean, I don't know how many colors there are offhand. I know there's 15 new co in colors. So I can make... 15 different color ribbons. That one's gonna be a little bit long. Let me trim that off again. Uh, so there's 15, right? There's 15 new in colors. So literally I can create 15 ribbons and there's more colors than that. So I could actually color all the different colors they have and do it in a sparkly white ribbon. But you can see that the sparkle still comes through. So even though you color it, it's not gonna mess it up, okay? So there we go. So we got the ribbon there and we're just gonna decide which one we want, whether we want this one here or if we want this one here. And we have, yep. This one here. All right, I think we're gonna go with this one here and we're just gonna put it up on dimensionals. But we got sparkle on the ribbon. We have sparkle on the balloons and then we're gonna add some sparkle. Let me make sure I can catch both of that, yep. We're gonna add some sparkle by adding some embellishments. So it's sparkly. So yes, if you're like me, I have a number of peeps that like the pink, right? Let me get my bling out here. So this is new too, right? It's all new because it's all the new colors. Yeah, that's what I had in my, um, oh, you do your ink spot. Yeah, yeah, I didn't have the new colors though. Yeah, drag your ribbon. I tried that. I wasn't getting great success. I most probably need to apply more pressure or something. Um, I had tried that originally and I wasn't getting anywhere, so I decided to do something different. And uh, so that's why I use the ink spot. So I have to say, I did not make nearly as much of a mess when I used the dauber and used it to hold the ribbon down. Um, when I tried to do just the paper, I still was getting ink all over me. I got ink all over me anyway. All right, so here's the second one right here. We just stepped it up by adding some ribbon and putting some paper up on dimensionals. All right, for the last card that we're gonna do, 
This one we're gonna step it up even more. And we're actually going to sit up here and use this new paper here. You can see it's just a little bit different in color, but you can see that this designer series paper that is new is picking it up both colors. So we're just going to sit here and I'm gonna put this one on with just tear and tape. I'm right there with you, Linda. It's all for me. It's all about, you know, how can I not quite make a mess? But I wanted to at least try out. I know they've done the blender pins before. I just don't have the color I needed today because we had so many new end colors. And I just haven't gotten those. So I thought I would try the writer pen, and that was just not working. That was not like at all. But it's easier. Now, so this, this I will have to cut just a little bit, okay? So I'm just gonna cut, it, does, it looks like just a smidgen, right? Just a smidgen. So I'm just gonna come through and cut a smidgen. Let's see if that works. Yep, that'll work. Okay, so I'm gonna come through and I'm just gonna use all these to do my smidgen the same height. So if one's crooked, they'll all be crooked. If they're all straight, they'll all be straight. Just doing that. Cause I'm gonna do the same thing we just did a while a minute ago. Except we're going to change it up, right? It's the same thing, except we have an extra layer here, which is going to give a little bit different look. And we have the other color ribbon we're going to use. Let's see if I can see that one. That's going to give it just a little bit different look. So, you know, it's just the little things that you can change on something and give it a different look. Right? So you say, now I'm going to have an ink on your hands to show. You know, the thing is, I go to a senior class this evening, and so if, when they see the ink on the, in my hands, they'll think, they'll want to know what happened. <laughs> and I have to tell them I was busy crafting and creating. Might have trimmed that one just a little bit more. They're too funny. They're too funny. Uh, you know, but that's, that's what makes life fun, right? That's what makes life fun. So yeah, it looks like I got them all the same except for that one right there. I might have to trim it a little bit more. So yeah. So yeah, it's, it's sort of funny because I already know, and I already know they're going to say something. And I'll just, because you know what, they want me to do the ink stamping for them. You know, because they're, they're older, right? And they, they shake, and that's okay. I don't, I don't mind doing it for them. But when they see my hands, for sure, they're not going to want to stamp themselves. So I really, I'll try to uh, wash some dishes or something and get some off. Okay, it looks like I need to trim just a little bit more. It is a sign of true character, right? Sometimes I might even have a smudge of ink on my face. All right, so I'm going to start getting these up. So this one, I'm going to use five because, right, I just want some subtle the, the blue, the um, fresh freesia there in the background. And then, like I said, we can put the ribbon on top. This is just like I said, quick and easy because the fact is you're using one by strips, one by fours is what I used. So when I sit there and do this one down here a little bit, so I want a little bit of the color to show through, right? It's almost going to be like a stained glass effect if I sit there and just letting a little bit of the color coming through just a little bit. But it's going to pick up all the colors real nice. But we'll show it in the end. The end. We're going to show all the different cuts so you can see what it looks like. We'll compare all the differences. I'm just trying to get a little bit, like I said, a little bit. Uh, well, I guess I would really like to do this. Let me do it this way. So we're just trying to get a little bit of color right there in between ones so we can get that nice color and take advantage of. Yeah, I'm going to have to trim that again a little bit more. That's okay. I'll do it when I get through. I can handle that. Can't handle this, let's, like, let's get them on. That's more of what I'm into at the moment. Can we get them on? So yeah, so I don't sweat the small stuff. I'm not, I'm not gonna get a ruler out. I just visually look to see if everything looks fine, right? I'm not. If I have to get a ruler out to make everything that precise and accurate, okay. Well, you might as well give it to a machine to do because the machine will do that quite regularly because it's part of their job. And I'm not a machine, I'm a human being making a handmade card for somebody, right? So that's what it's all about. That is what it's all about. It's got pretty colors. See how pretty that is? That would be real pretty there too. I didn't design, plan on doing it that way. 
and I would have flipped another one over too. But that's just as pretty, right? So we have you know, the card stock is it's pretty, and then you've got very beautiful paper that's beautiful on both sides too. So I'm just lining up. We've got one more, and we're done. And we're gonna put that ribbon on there. Then we're gonna get our image on here. So I'm gonna actually sort of flip this a little bit. Okay, we'll see how we like it. If you're out there, Linda, you'll have to let me know how, which one you like best. So we're just gonna get this on. And there we go. Okay, so the big question when you do this is now, because I've done this one here and I really liked it, and I'm gonna put it up on dimensionals, whether or not we put it this way, or if we turn the card and do it this way. Because any way you go, I have ribbon that we're gonna add. And this is the one done in bubble gum. So it's gonna have a slight shimmer to it. But at this point, we can do it either way, right? We still have time, because we haven't finished it up, that we can add this ribbon any way we want. So if anybody has a preference, let me know. Because I really don't. I like it both ways. I'm gonna put this back here on, the mantles on back. Then we'll put some bling on it. Like I said, we have two options. We can either put it this way or we can put it this way. I'm sort of leaning toward that, but you know what? You, could, you can influence me. You could easily influence me. I just want to make sure it's up so we can see everything, right? But I think I'm going to lean toward this unless you say otherwise. Yep. All right. We're going to get this on here. Then I'm going to just put this on just like I did the other. So we just change colors, right? So you'll have to decide which you like better, which color you like best of all the mess I've made here. It's just pretty, right? It's just pretty. Choices, and it's all about choices. So there are people, pink is not their color at all. But you know what, this this pink here is goes great for, I just got it. Goes great for baby, if you think about it, for, well darn. Uh, this goes great for anything baby, baby showers. It goes great for people that love pink. Pink's their favorite color. And I just I got that all stuck on me. Um, so there's many things that pink go with. I got ink all over that. So the thing is, is um, even brown. So I did this in chocolate in the uh, early espresso. I call it like a dark chocolate brown. Reminds me of um, dark chocolate, right? Well... Why is it not? St it's like sticking to me in my inky hands. All right, we're gonna have to come up with another option if I can't get the glue dot to quit sticking on me. Um, so it just goes a lot of different things, you know. And the, this could you easily, as you see, I put it on the darker color and it picks up the purples really good. There we go. So it, that would be just as easy, right? is to put this on purple or a fresh freesia, or you can put it on a darker purple. And I'm really gonna get that ribbon in there. There we go. So, it's, you know, and that's what's nice about the ribbon too, because it's sheer. So even though we've colored it, right? Even though we've colored this sheer ribbon, it's still gonna be sheer. So that's the other thing I like it. So not only is it gonna be sheer, but we're also gonna have our glitter still on here. That's real nice and glittery. And I'll show that in just a minute. Really want that just a little bit lower. I was looking to see if I could just squish it together. I'm not sure if I can or cannot. It's not like I can do that for me. Because I have done that before too. But you sort of have to like get the squishing going. Let's see if I can do this one. Like what I'm talking about. Yeah. So you just have to work with it, right? And that glue dot came up. I don't think the glue dots like the the ink. For some reason it's not staying there. Never thought about that. It usually just stays just fine. Landscape, oh good, thank you. Landscape it is. Just gonna tuck that under too. And for whatever reason it just was I don't want to stick with that. It's not, it's not stick for whatever reason it's not sticking to that. 
Okay, let me just get some glue. All right, we'll just have to mash it a second here. It's just not, for whatever reason, my glue dots are not liking the, the inked ribbon, which is okay. I'll just stick, I'll just stick glue under here. And just hold it a minute. Actually, what I'm gonna do, because I really don't like holding, having to hold stuff while something dries. That's not heavy enough. You gotta get something heavy enough, right? So I'll put that there for the moment, and then I'll go ahead and get some bling on here. I'll let it dry there. So we're just gonna spread us some bling. It's real pretty bling. Uh, let's see what this is. It says Tinsel Gems 4 Pack. Looks like it's almost got glitter in it itself. And I'm just gonna add some extras here because this is for somebody's birthday. And I'm gonna make sure it has a lot of sparkle for them. Okay, let's see how they, oh, there we go. Blue works just fine. So, here we go. This is our first card. Get some more stuff clean out of the way. All right, so here's our first card that we just made simple. And we stepped it up right here where we turned around and we added ribbon and we added bling. And then here we stepped it even more because we actually put another layer underneath here as well as doing this here and this one here. So you'll have to decide what you like better, right? Because looky here, because this one we kept it all the same one by four, the same color. This one we altered colors. We changed ribbons right here too. So you get to decide which one you like the best, right? That's the beauty of it all is you can just make changes, just subtle changes, little changes, and it can get a totally different look. So you have to let me know which one you like the best out of the three. All right. So I hope you enjoyed that. I made a big mess. I made a really big mess. There's my hands, right? So it's okay. I'll go wash dishes and see how much I can sit there and get off before I go to my senior class later on. So there you go. So it's all about creating and having fun, right? If you can't get your hands messy, you can't make a mess, it's not going to be nearly as fun, right? So it's all about make, having fun, creating, sharing, and giving. So I already know some birthdays are coming up. I already know some people are going to get some cards. If you want a birthday card, let me know and I'll send you one. You'll just have to message me and I'll get one to you. All right. So with that, be blessed. Go out there, create and share. And if you enjoyed today's, be sure to share it with others. So we would love it if you would share our Facebook page and also follow us on YouTube where the video will be posted and we'll also post the photos of the cards today out there on Instagram. Be blessed. Look forward to seeing you next week on Keep It Simple or Step It Up. Bye.